I wanted to share a super easy recipe that we totally enjoy. The Monterey Pork Chops from Grade A Plus Recipes of Collected Recipes from School Families and Staff Members from the St. Thomas Elementary School. I've been having so much fun trying some of their recipes and this one especially is a keeper. First, you'll need to add a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil to a large pan or skillet if you have one and set on medium high heat. Recipe calls for four to five pork chops. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't really specify, but I would recommend four boneless pork chops for easier cutting since there will be a lot of sauce in this recipe. But I've been cooking this recipe with three large pork chops with the bone in it. And that turns out to be plenty with leftovers for the three of us in our family. Use whichever kind of pork chops that would be equivalent to four, and then you should be fine. I sprinkled salt and pepper for seasoning. And then you're going to just brown the pork chops on each side for about two minutes. You only need to brown it, not cooking it, but just brown it. <laughs> After pork chops are brown on each side, add one 15 ounce can of tomato soup. I've been using Campbell's condensed tomato soup family size and or the regular size, the 10.34 ounce of condensed tomato soup. I've learned to add water as I stir to make it thick or thin of what I want. I think that should be up to your own preference of a sauce. Next, you are going to pour one can of diced chilies on top. Again, recipe doesn't specify, but I find the small can of green chili is plenty. This is where I add bits of water here and there to make the soup less thick and make it to the consistency I prefer. This recipe recommends it to be served with rice. So again, add water to your own preference as soup over rice. In this video, I used a 15 ounce can of condensed tomato soup with about one cup of water ratio. Again, I'm just checking around the consistency to make sure that the water is diluted with the condensed soup and just making it just perfect to what we prefer as to have this over rice in our family. covered on low heat for about 45 minutes or until meat is done in the center. I wish there was smell-o-vision. I swear this smells really good. I just have it on on low. It's going good. Spread one cup of shredded jack cheese or sliced jack cheese over the top. Cover and cook for another five minutes or until the cheese is melted. Oh my, this turns out so tender and flavorful each time. Very easy to make. I hope you try this. I place the recipe in the description box below. Till the next one. Bye.